In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from a portion of Hebrews chapter 13 from last Sunday. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember those who are in prison, as though in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body. The writer of the Hebrews is reminding us to continue with brotherly love. Love for the brother, for those who are also in the body, the body of Christ. We are brothers and sisters in Christ's body, in one body. And he speaks of those who are in prison, as though in prison with them, and those who are mistreated. Primarily, there are those who are mistreated and imprisoned for the faith, especially at the time Hebrews was written. And even now, throughout the world, there are those who are imprisoned for the faith because they speak of Christ and his salvation. And so there is the suffering that comes from following Christ. And we are to remember them as though with them. Since we are in the body together with one another, in other places of scripture, it speaks that when part of the body suffers, the whole body suffers that we are in the body of Christ together. And so we support and strengthen one another and suffer with one another and remain strong with one another in Christ. We pray. On Tuesdays, we pray for deliverance against temptation and evil, for the addicted and the despairing, the tortured and the oppressed, for those struggling with sin. Take a moment to pray for those who you know, who are in need of God's help today. We also pray for those who have asked our prayers, especially Allegra and Connie, Cindy and Darren and Deacon, Debbie, Esther and Ed, Eve, Graham and Irene, Jackson, Jacob and Jerry, Jim, John and Joshua, Judy and Justin, Lisa, Mark, Michael and Danielle and Rachel, Sarah and Sue Ellen, Tessa, Tim and Walter, and Pat. And for those of our staff, artists, and students of the preschool, Arnana and Abir. And for the congregations in the circuit, especially St. Peter's. Also, we pray today for Gary, Cindy, and Peyton, who all celebrate their birth, and ask God's blessing upon them. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you've kept us this night from all harm and danger. We pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things. Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Also a reminder that we will have a Wednesday evening Bible study beginning on September 14th from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. We will meet for 10 weeks. Uh, we will be studying a book, God's Relentless Love. We encourage you to sign up on the church website, faithontheweb.org, to register that let us know you're coming so we can order enough books. Also, uh, beginning on September 4th, we will begin gathering items for care kits in celebration of the 60th anniversary of faith. So we will be gathering toothpaste and toothbrushes on September 4th. We invite you to bring them to the church at any time. We'll be streaming next at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and meeting for church tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m. at Faith Lutheran Church, 6000 West State Road 46 in Columbus, Indiana.